So let's read the question. Let's read the question. This question came from you people. So let's read it. It says, the following extracts are from the consolidated financial statements of Eurogroup for the years ended 30th September 2020 and 2021. So we have the group statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income for the year ended 30th September 2021. So that is the PL, which you are able to see there. Then we have group statement of financial position, also as you can see there. During the year ended 30th September 2021, Eurogroup acquired, so this is acquisition, this is cash flow for acquisition, acquired an 80% equity interest in Sport Limited, a local subsidiary quoted in the Securities Exchange. The purchase consideration on acquisition comprised a share exchange of shillings 2,000 million and cash consideration of shillings 500 million. Okay. The market value spot spot of the parents' entity shares was shilling 16 at the time of acquisition. Sporty Limited net assets at acquisition had the following fair values. So the net assets is 2,500 on the date of acquisition. It is the group's policy to measure the non-controlling interest in subsidiaries at their proportionate share of the net assets at acquisition. I can calculate goodwill at that stage. So right there, goodwill, in fact, uh, acquisition, you can do goodwill in one instead of two steps. Acquisition, you can do goodwill once. So you come here and say, uh, goodwill, 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 let's start that immediately. So goodwill, go for the balance, opening balance of goodwill in non-current assets. So check goodwill up there. So up there, you can see goodwill, balance brought down, balance brought down. Uh, goodwill is 1800, opening balance. Then you add subsidiary. Subsidiary has been acquired. So you add, you add goodwill of subsidiary. Subsidiary, it is something we can calculate here without meandering with uh, a lot of information because we all know that um, goodwill is the purchase consideration minus the share of net assets acquired. So check not one, they acquired 80% equity interest in Sport Limited, a local subsidiary in the Security Exchange. The purchase consideration on acquisition comprised a share exchange. There was a share exchange, take note of that, a share exchange of shillings 2 million and a cash consideration of, of 500. So it means purchase consideration, purchase consideration will be 2,500. They give out shares worth shillings 2,000 and cash of 500. So that is 25. Then down the last bit of note one, the very last bit of note one, Uko Chile, it is the group's policy to measure the non-controlling interest in subsidiaries at their proportionate share of the net assets at acquisition. So you add fair value of NCI. So fair value of NCI will be 20% because parent required 80. They are saying proportionate share of net assets. When you check net assets on acquisition, in that note one, the net assets is 2,500. Can you check well? Net assets, 2,500. So 
you multiply by 25. So this is NCI, this one here. This is the fair value of NCI. They say proportionate share of net assets. And when you check not one, net assets is 25. So you can just take 20% of that 25. Then purchase consideration, I arrived at 25 by taking shares worth 2,000. And um, 500 was what? 500 was cash to get the 25. So it is this plus NCI. Then you subtract the net assets. So net asset on acquisition is the 25 in that note one. I hope. Come up on a kitu jailero, kindly you will listen. So get for me that goodwill on acquisition. Get for me that goodwill on acquisition. If you are okay. If you are okay with, but as we compute, I can repeat for purposes of someone. Good morning. Yes, the first, the first 25 is the 2000 of shares plus cash of 500. This one here, they say the NCI uh, is their pro the fair value of NCI is the proportionate share of the net assets. And when you check the net assets, when you check the net assets, net assets is uh, 2500. If you check those net assets in not one, 2,500, so minority means it is 20% of the 25. Then Jonathan, I think you are asking about this 25. 25, we normally subtract. How do we calculate goodwill? Purchase consideration minus net assets. In note one, check note one, all those items. I hope you have seen. This 25 here, yeah, the one we are multiplying for NCI is the one we are bringing this other side. So Monica is saying goodwill is 500. Jonathan, confirm, you have seen, you are, five, you are 25. Okay, I, I was asking about the the twenty five hundred, which was uh, subtracted. But you have understood. No, not yet. Okay, where do we get that twenty five hundred from? I can somebody maybe Yango Can someone explain to Jonathan where this twenty five is coming from? I want to see also to convince me that others have understood. Can you try to tell Jonathan because I was repeated, but it's not getting. Uh, where we are getting this 25. So, what we call here, Jonathan, it is the net assets on not one, net assets on acquisition, not one. Jonathan, check the net assets. Just compose yourself, relax. Those PPE, who come on 20% of this 25, it is the same 25. Come on, you may on it is the same. Confirm very fast so that I know. Usiende kwa notes. Don't go to the notes. What do we to say here, Sam? Yeah, Irina, we copy hiso. Ni hiso, ama hiso. Listed hapo chini, not one. The ones, PPE, inventory, receivable, payables, cash, current tax, 25. Jonathan, ama usigizi jaisha. You come up with one idea, what do you see one idea? Do you know who's sour? Jonathan? Jonathan, are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Good. So, balance brought down 18. Subsidiary came with goodwill of 500. It means we are supposed to close with goodwill of 23. In case we get a variation, that is impairment. So, right there, impairment, impairment, loss, BF, balance in figure. So check the goodwill carried down, balance carried down. Check the balance carried down. Balance carried down for goodwill, I'm seeing 21.75. 
So how much is impairment? Lucy, 125. So the impairment loss is 125. Confirmed. Brandy, where are you now? All right. Let's proceed. You should be two part two as a way of reading. Let's go to note number two. Let's go to note two. Unless someone has a question on the same. All right. So let's go to note two kindly. Note two says depreciation charge during the year ended this amounted to 1240. So depreciation has been given and an impairment loss of 535 million was recognized on property. Karibu in Ishtue, that impairment is 535 and here we are getting 125. So the impairment they are talking of here is on property. Property can also be impaired. So don't confuse the two. We have impairment on property of 535, but this is impairment on goodwill, 125. Prior to the impairment review, the group had a balance on the revaluation surplus of 625, of which 250 million related to the property impair. So that one, we, we shall deal with it, but that's the only way I should, I should skip. Let's reconcile PPE at that stage, property, plant, and equipment. Let's have that working. Let me come up with a caution. Let me do it here. And let me also hear from early morning, your energy file. Did you speak young with the energy? But to early morning, your FM class starts at what time? You have told me you have a class. So Lucy says 10. 10. Sound. Okay. Sound. Sound. The Japan. So balance brought forward, then let me what I decided to do as a student to logo the corner of 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 the corner of
Sorry, what's that? There are people who want to go and study privately. So we are making those arrangements. Sorry for that. So we can start, we can start with PP uh, using that particular note. Using that particular note, we can go for PP at working. We can even do it here, working two. Property, plant, and equipment. Property, plant, and equipment. So balance brought down. Balance brought down. 88, 88, which I hope you can see. Then check note two, note two where we are, is talking much of the PPE, so we can analyze that note. But before note two, let's bring subsidiary note one. Subsidiary was acquired, this was acquisition. So acquisition you add. If subsidiary was disposed, you subtract. So add subsidiary. Add subsidiary. Subsidiary came with 1800. I hope you can see that. Jonathan Hille schedule in note one. Then now let's go to note two. In note two, depreciation charge amounted to 1240. So depreciation will not come up. So let's depreciation, depreciation, 1240, you subtract. And also they have said impairment loss was 535. So let's impairment, impairment, 535, 535. 535. Then the examiner goes ahead to say, prior to the impairment review, prior meet before the impairment review, the group had a balance on revaluation of 625, of which 250 related to property impaired. <laughs> so um, 250 relates to the property which has been impaired. Prior means before the impairment. So once we have impairment, it means that revalued amount has been superseded. The sharp on our cut because it was before revaluation. So I don't see the need of us bringing that revaluation here because they revalued before impairment. If it, the revaluation took place after, then we need to bring that surplus, but this was before impairment. So the asset which they are talking of revaluation, the 250 it relates to what has been impaired, in which case impairment doesn't equal to share that value. So it means it was there before. Balance in figure, is going to be acquisition. Acquisition of PPE from what I can see. So balance carried down is what you need to give me. Tell me the balance carried down. So this is the DF. This is the balancing figure. So help me with that figure. So first of all, current down is 13,400. The balancing figure will be how much? The balance will be how much? Forty-five seventy-five. Thank you. Let's go to the next note. Today I'm taking the note wise. The next note, goodwill was revealed for impairment at the reporting date and the impairment loss reported in P and L. Not four. 
group, Eurogroup operates a defined benefit scheme. A service cost component of 300 million has been included with the operating expenses, while a net interest cost of 40 has not been accounted for. The remeasurement component for the year ended 30th of September 2021 was again of 40 million. Remeasurement component is the actuarial. So this is actuarial gain, actuarial gain of 40. Benefits paid out of the scheme were 380 million. So what? Able to find your, your benefit scheme, just that analysis. I don't know how it will it will have an impact, but let's carry out that analysis of of um, of the benefit scheme. I think it might be applicable ahead there. It is also helping us to revise the employee benefits. So working three, working number three, you call it defined benefits obligation. So defined benefits obligation, defined benefit obligation, defined benefit obligation. All right, so we kick off with the balance brought down. So go to non-current liabilities. Go to non-current liabilities. Go to non-current liabilities. Balance brought down is 800. Which you can see under non current liabilities. The benefit obligation was 800 at the start. Then, uh, interest, you need to add interest. You remember interest charge. So you add interest charge, interest charge, interest charge. So we go back to that note form. When you read note four, you will realize then. The interest charge was 40. So you will add that 40. You also add service cost components. You add service cost. Service cost was 300. In the same same note four was 300. Then we normally want to check to put actual gain or actual loss. That is always our ultimate goal. But already, <laughs> already example I shall prepare the measurement component, which is again of 40. So you will less, that one you will less. You will say uh, less actuarial gain, actuarial gain, the measurement, re measurement, that is 40. Again, you will utilize the game to reduce the obligation. You cannot add. So it therefore means uh, then benefits paid. Benefits paid. Uh, there was this benefits paid of 380, but now, uh, huh, don't go, just. The measurement component of uh, for the year was again of 40. Benefits paid out of the scheme were 380. But now the question, was it paid 
uh, was it paid for the current financial period? That will be a very big concern. A boost keep alive, to wonder if that will be the balancing figure. So keep, because the benefits paid might be the cumulative. So I want for specifically what was paid for this year. So skip one line, then we confirm. So your balancing figure will be benefits paid. Benefits paid for the year, BF. So balance carried down, obligation at the end. Balance carried down. Defined benefit obligation, 910. 910. So can you tell me that balancing figure, whether it's company 38 or well and good, if it is not, then that balance should be the actual benefits for this year. Because benefits can be accumulate, can be cumulative. So tell me how much. So oh, people say it's 190. So 190 is what was paid in respect to this year. And that is what we that is what we will take to account. So when if at all we were to depend on the additional information, then we are done. We are done with the additional information, unless we have some small, small ones which we need to check. Uh like tax. I don't want to waste my time on tax. Tax, we are going to do it. We are going to do it there on the presentation. So tax, I will not work out here. Uh, PP, we have done. Uh, maybe things which will follow us later is the dividends. Dividends to minority and maybe parent evil. So let's reconcile. Let's reconcile. Uh, retained earnings account and also non controlling interest to get the dividends which they were paid. But yeah, we can do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. We have the time, all the time here. So, right there, retained earnings account to get the dividends. To get dividends, you come and say retained earnings. Retained earnings account. Retained earnings account. So retained earnings start with balance brought down. Balance brought down. Balance brought down return earnings. Hey, return earnings. 2880. I hope you can see that. Under equity there. 2880. Then you add for the year. 
you add for the year. So go to P and L. Go to P and L. And check profit for the year. So profit for the year, check Kindle, Uko Ju. So your profit attributed to MCI. Profit attributed to MCI is 400. Profit for the year attributed to MCI is 400. But the total profit for the year, don't go for comprehensive. You know, comprehensive has a lot of issues, remeasurement and the rest. Go for profit for the year. If you check in, the profit for the year is 2030. But of the 2030, of the 2030, 400 is going to the minority. So you can track the 400. So that you get what goes to the parents. 2030 minus 400 is how much? 2030 minus 4. What do you get? 1630. Can I The balancing figure will be the dividends. So dividends, balancing figure. So this 400 is for minority, which I have subtracted kindly. The 400. Because total profit for the year, what you should not confuse, not only this question, any other <laughs> question, you don't, for retained earnings, you don't bring total comprehensive. You know comprehensive has those revaluation components in it. And revolution akuna pesa. So you go for the profit for the year from P and L, but remember that total profit for the year, it will be shared <coughs> between parent and minority. So of the 2030, 400 will go to minority. But this one, we want to know dividends paid to the parent. So we subtract minority. So compare with the closing. So balance carried down. Balance carried down of retained earnings. We have been given by the examiner to be 45.10. 45.10. So how much was paid as dividends? The balancing figure there. So balancing figure becomes the dividends. Zero. So it has started. How much do you have this work? But now it's also good to know the roots. So there was no dividends paid to holding company. Let's work out MCI to know the dividends they were paid. So MCI. So to know the dividends paid to the minority shareholders, you reconcile non-controlling interest accounts. So you start with the balance brought down. Balance brought down. Balance brought down. So check under equity there. The balance brought down for non-controlling interest. Uh -huh. How much? Equity attributable to non-controlling. I'm seeing 1350. Please check to confirm with me. 1350. 1350. Then uh, there is subsidiary. Subsidiary has been acquired. So and subsidiary. In the subsidiary, check working one. Minority in the subsidiary were entitled to 20% of the 25. 20% of 25, which gave us 500. So they got 500. Then for the year, for the year minority, we saw they got 400, this one here. They got some 400. So there is nothing much. The balancing figure will be dividends. Dividends, balancing figure. So it means balance current down. You are going to compare. So that is 2000. So that decrease should be dividends. So can you check and tell me how much they were paid in form of dividends? Alima 550 is for which one? Because I'm seeing kilometers over 250. Alima kindly confirm. So minority were paid 250. Which other working should I do? 
we can do ordinary ordinary share capital we can work out ordinary share capital ordinary share capital So ordinary share capital, balance brought down, please remember to combine, remember to combine with the share premium, so brought down is 4 plus 12 50. Then check note one, check additional information number one. When they were acquiring that company, the subsidiary, they gave out some shares. There are some shares which were given out on acquisition. So you will come and say, uh, shares issued for acquisition. They were 2,000. Shares issued for acquisition were 2,000. So balancing figure will be shares issued for cash. BF. Shares issued for cash, the balancing figure. So you compare with the balance carried down. Balance carried down is going to be six plus twenty-two fifty. Six plus twenty-two fifty should give you eighty-two fifty. Is there anything which was issued for cash? Yes. How much? One thousand. Rose, what about the share premium? One thousand. So issue for that. One thousand. Masi and Ro and Shiro are asking about share premium. That brought down was twelve fifty. Now, why to the way? Oh, I think we are responding to them. I'm a. I'm a. What is the issue? I'm seeing some people think share premium. Share premium. What about it? Oh, you are responding to them. Oh, so, so the respondee, have you been responded to accordingly to what you are asking? The share premium, you always add with the, with the ordinary. You add them together. Okay. Then that is okay. Mm -hmm. Is there anything we should be top my head here? Attacks to another funny. Victor, Uki text, please don't text me direct because sometimes Uki text direct with beginning and a text the same. So you text the entire class. Working capital is not really a working we need to do. It's just a waste of time. Okay, we can do when we are relaxed. But in exam, I don't encourage students to do the working capital. You can do it during presentation direct. But because for class, we can do it. We can even do tax. But exam, working capital is not a working you should waste your time with. But we can do it. But don't waste your time with those working capital components. But we can do it here. So have working capital. Working capital changes. 
working capital changes. So working capital, my students will be capturing inventory, receivables, and payables. Have those three. Checking increase or decrease. All right, so balance brought down for all of them. You will bring balance brought down. In a work balance brought down, then you bring subsidiary. If subsidiary is disposed, you subtract. Acquisition, we add. So add subsidiary. Add subsidiary. So the balancing figure is either going to be increased or decrease your BF. So like that, like that. Balance current down. That is how we go about the working capital. So bring them kindly, post, post, karakaraka. I hope you are posting. So I join you. Inventory 2060. Receivables 1860. Payables 2460. Subsidiary came with inventory of 640. Receivables of 580. They came also with payables of 350. Closing inventory 1575. 15, receivables 1950. Payables, payables 2685. So tell me increase or decrease. In each case, Victor Alitaka Yo. So for to that effect, we have another tax. The investment in other shares. I was not good then. Uh -huh. Kennedy decrease in inventory 1065. Decrease in inventory 1065. It's on the level. It's on the level. Next.
Mm -hmm. Receivables increase for 90. But people have changed. Kennedy decrease in inventory 11.25. People have changed 11.25. Uh huh. We continue like that with some people. Another one. One twenty five is for which one? You know. Receivables for 90 decrease. Uh, payables, 125, 125 what? Payables, 125, De increase in payables. Halima, increase in payables, increase in payables. Oh, you pay up on the number point three squared because after another twenty eight, that thing is a decrease. Another must be a man because twenty four plus three fifty. See, you can move twenty eight. Now, if you took another twenty six, is a decrease. Aye. So people have confirmed those figures. People have confirmed the figures. So I did not want to do this working, but now I have to do it. Write for me there, taxation, so that I can get tax paid. It is a working I did not want to do. I suppose I want to find it because what do I want to find it? I want to work out tax paid. Tax paid. Unless someone has a question on where we are coming from. So tax paid, Balance brought down. You combine both deferred and current. You combine both deferred and current. So balance brought down. You take deferred is 390, current is 1100. I hope you can see that. So that is 1490. For the year, Check P and L, profit and loss accounts. Check profit and loss accounts. Let's go to P and L, income tax expense. In profit accounts, check well, you will see 320. You will see 320 somewhere there. Subsidiary, you add subsidiary. Subsidiary also came with the tax. Don't forget subsidiary. They came with the tax of 50. Balancing figures the tax paid. So tax paid is going to be your balancing figure here. The decrease. So balance carried down, you combine both the deferred and the current. So deferred is 910. Really? No. 415 plus 1090. That should be 1505. 1505. Yes, we will confirm. If it is okay, then you tell me how much is paid. The decrease. Decrease in tax is the tax paid. Decrease will be the tax paid. How much? Brandy 355. Confirm 355. So that decrease is 355. That is the tax paid. Last but not least, what are the funny investment in other shares? Because in one of my tag is all working. But though that one you can even do before we give. So right there, investment. That's our last working. Investment in associates. In associates. 
right there, investment in associate. I want to get dividends. Investment in associate is a working which you utilize to get dividends. All right, balance floats down. Balance floats down. Balance floats down. So balance floats down students for investment in other shit and non current assets. Check non current assets. 3250. For the year, PML. For the year, the P and L. For the year, check P and L. There was share of profit of other shares. We shared. We shared how much? Eight thirty-five. Yes, Marcy. We shared eight thirty-five. Your balance in figure here should be dividends. Dividends received. BF, it was not given. In the yesterday question, we were given. Okay, you reconcile to check if there was more investment they acquired. Then you compare with the balance carried down. Balance carried down is 39.25. 39.25. Decrease in dividends. How much? How much, how much, how much? Check to confirm. Your story to my little this. One sixty. Let's start presentation. Please be me spend this time. Yeah, cash. Yeah, come on. Your workings. Just do the the basic ones. Let it go. Let Or you can just start straight. Okay, the straight you will realize you will get more. The examiner dictated. That we use in direct. That we repeat with the, with the direct method. Then we finish that chapter. So, right there, they are calling themselves Eurogroup. Eurogroup Consolidated Statement of Cash Flow. Early morning, you will finish your will fi I'll finish with you on 17th. Evening, I'll finish with you on 19th. Please prepare yourself for those dates. Our end date with evening is 19th, our end date with early morning is 17th. 
that is the program. Meaning, when I found out that the is back, you could be back in your sick bed, you can get back. Fire. Off we go. Killings in millions. Operating activities. Operating activities. Operating activities, profit before tax. So profit before. Ross, what are you saying? Not for profit means what? Ross, tell me what you are saying so that we proceed. You have asked not for profit means what? Well, that was something else. Oh, sir, no problem. If it's something different, then we have no problem. Ah, yeah, so reported profit before tax. Here we have to be careful. When we talk about the the part here, to subscribe, that's how we can. We can in a qua. See that in a longer frame. The book. Ah, let me just check. Ah, in a shaman. One point. Get out of here. Here it goes out. There is no problem. There is no problem. Fine. No, uh, sorry, I was checking on something. So, uh, reported profit before tax, I'm seeing 2350. I'm seeing 2350. So, this is 2350, which you can see with also your eyes. Then you say adjust for. The last form is the depreciation. Depreciation was mentioned right there. Depreciation. Depreciation was mentioned in note number two, and it was twelve forty. So you are back. Depreciation twelve forty. 
Empowerment. We did our working. Working one. Can't recall the figure. Someone remind me that figure of. Uh, but impairment is completely sorry. So we we'll have to be very careful. Impairment there are two. So working one, this is impairment of goodwill. There will also be impairment of property somewhere. So impairment of goodwill in working one. What did we get? It is the 125. People are saying it was 125. Thank you. So add it back there. 125. 125. Then also there was impairment. Impairment of property, plant, and equipment. Impairment of PP. That was mentioned. Check note number huh, the same note two. The same note two. They say depreciation charge amounted to 1240 and an impairment loss of 535 was recognized on property. Prior to the impairment review, the group had a balance on revaluation surplus of 625, of which 250 million related to property impaired. So the property impaired, impairment is 535, but the same property has been revalued also by 250. So you need to offset, you need to reduce. It has been revalued by 250 and impaired by 535. So you have to utilize that revaluation surplus to reduce that. How much should that be? That is the correct way because you have, you have reduced the value by 535, then the same asset had also been revalued upwards by 250. So you utilize the gain to offset the loss, 285. So you add back 285. Then go to P&L, go to P&L, check for me any expense which has been recognized or income, which is non-operating, which is non-operating. So revenue, tick. Cost of sales, tick. Operating expenses, tick. Share of profits of associates, no. So share, share of associates, associates profits. Share of associates profits. This is 835. So you add back. It is not an operating income. You use a track, I mean. So 835, you less. It is not an operating income. Then finance cost, you add back. Finance cost, you add back 260. You see up to here, you did not require any working. You add back the 260. Then uh, for P and L so. So you go to the notes, you check if there is anything which might have been included somewhere fishy in the admin distribution or cost of sales. You deal with them. Check notes, I saw one in note number four. Check note four, Euro operates a defined benefit scheme. A service cost component of 300 has been included with the operating expenses. While interest cost of 40 has not been accounted for. The one which has not been accounted for, there is no problem. It was not included. So service cost component, they are saying it was included in the operating, but that is not an operating income. So add it back, operating expense, add it back. Service cost components. Service cost component, 300. So you add back. Because it was recognized as an expense, this is not an operating expense. From where I am, those are the only adjustments. Unless there's something you are seeing, you can ask me. Those are the only expenses which I can capture. If there is any which you are in doubt, please bring it up. Then I can get it sorted. We can discuss, that is. If there is none, then give me the answer. Uh, you know, finance, uh, service cost, 
The authority is included in operating expenses. But service cost is not an operating expense. It is not an expense with car on daily operations. It was classified as part of those expenses, but this is not an operating expense. So it was treated as an expense, meaning it was subtracted. So we add back. I hope that is clear. If it is clear, any question? If no question, you just give me the total. Thirty-seven twenty-five from everyone. Bring for me working capital. I remember all of them were decrease, increase, huh? decrease. All of them were decrease. So decrease in inventory. Please. Zotan in decrease, so just the particular of figures, the package we move. Don't tell me decrease, or all of them are big. So just give me those figures, the three of them. Also, there was decrease in receivables. Also, there was decrease in payables. Yes, those three. So Alima 11.25. 490, 125. The last one is the only one we subtract. Decrease in stock means you are selling, so you are getting cash. Decrease in receivable, cash. This one, decrease means we are paying, we are paying suppliers. So nothing. So take 37, adjust. Can you put your answer? Fifty two fifteen. Ah, down there you bring tax paid. How much was tax paid? Certain working there. Three fifty five Kennedy. Interest paid. Interest paid. Just pick this one. You got it. What are you listen? You go up. Can you mention an issue? But you two answers, so I'm confused. Which is which? Yes, Victor, this two things. Finance costs, you pick this one. For interest, you pick this one here, the 260. Then, uh, from further reading, hmm? From further reading, we noted that Unana Yok to Alilipa, I think our care is that is what you are saying. There is 190. 190, which we got for what was this? The defined benefit obligation. The defined benefit obligation. The defined benefit obligation, those schemes, they relate to employees. And therefore, any payment is an operating because employees is an Izuma by administrative and the rest. So you know, uh, you know, so the amount we paid, we paid for employees in the scheme also should be subtracted here. That is what the new standard, you know, those the standard change from, you can check, it changed from IS 26 to IS number 19 on employee benefits. We changed from 26 to 19, those two. So 19 is the current, all those defined benefits, we take them to administrative, which is part of operating. Therefore, you tell me and say, uh, defined benefits paid. I remember we got it somewhere. 
190. So give me this answer, then I answer rows. A. 190, we got it somewhere. So Ken, maybe that's what you are saying or something. So give me your A. No, please, before you give me the answer, it at all your rose. Nimalana rose kidogo. Interest paid, we pick finance cost always. The uh, rose, the answer is yes. But there is a question we did somewhere. I think it was this class. Whereby there was deferred, yeah, at least when you are sitting, there was deferred consideration. So when there's deferred consideration, you see the, the, there is accrued interest because it will be paid in future. So if we have accrued interest, yes, you will still pick the finance cost, but you subtract the accrued. Then there are some questions whereby under current liability, in the current liability, you will find interest payable. Opportunity for current liabilities. There will be interest payable. So if we have interest payable down there, you take payable at the beginning plus this one. Then you compare with the closing. The difference is what is paid. But in the absence of all those issues, then we always pick this one. So maybe Rose, you have noted, Shiro, you have noted that we are picking this one in every question. The answer is yes, but in either one at a switch, it will happen a pallet, you are just. Otherwise, we normally pick this one. So I hope you have understood. If yes, give me A. Help me with A. So A is 4410. All right, let's go to investing. Investing activities. All right, so investing, investing, Brenda, why not include defined benefit under financing activities? Correct. Brenda, that is what I've just explained. But uh, I say, what I was asked, so I didn't need a deep kidogo, you will bear with me. Uh, so what are the tasks? When you are on Abdi, you are the one appearing on top. Can you Google and tell me um, IAS26 is talking about what? Just type IAS26, then just tell me it's about what? Then, when you are on this Barbara, Barbara check for me IAS19. You just Google, then you check it's about what? You don't have to tell me the details. Then it will help me to to again revisit what I say. Then, Shiro, uh, you had internet issue. I was asking for interest paid. Do we all? Hey, Shiro, the way I took two minutes to explain, I said, yes, the answer is yes. We always pick finance costs, this one. But if you remember the last question, the last sitting question, there was deferred consideration. When you defer, it means you are, you are going to have accrued interest. So Abdi and Barbara, I'm waiting for you. You are going to have accrued interest. So if you have accrued interest, it means that has not been paid. So you will take this minus the accrued. Another thing which brings an issue, in the current liabilities, in the current liabilities, sometimes you will find the interest payable. Interest payable. So if you get that interest payable, you will take the opening interest payable plus for the year, then you subtract the closing, the closing interest payable. The difference is what you take there as interest paid. 
But in the event that there is nothing disturbing finance costs, then this is what you take there as paid. So, Shiro, I hope now the internet is stable and you have understood. Good. All right, so, Abdi and uh, Barbara, can you share? IS926, Abdi is talking about what? Then Barbara, IS number 19, is talking about what? Just the real topic to, is about what and what, so that I can explain this again to who is this, Brenda. IS26 uh, deals with financial reporting considerations for the plan itself. For? Oh? The plan itself. Plan? Yeah. Defined benefit plan, eh? Yeah. Yes. Defined, that is IS26, defined benefit plan. Then, uh, Barbara, IS19, or international accounting standards, 19, rule uh, concerning employee benefits under IFRS rule set by the International Accounting Standards Board. In this case, employee benefits include wages and salaries, as well as pension, life insurance, and other prerequisites. The prerequisites are whatever. So um, we, up to around last year, or last year, but one, we were applying this IS number 26, the one which you have checked, the, the, the plan, the defined benefits plan. Currently, even the, when we were doing this topic, we applied the IS number 19. Currently, we are applying IS 19. And IS 19 on the employee benefits from what she has posted, it is the employee wages, salaries, as well as the pension. So all pension, I'm responding to Brenda, all pension, all pension, you will find them going to administrative, those pension things. We classify them in administrative. An administrative is part of operating, operating activities, in the operating activities. So those pension staff, the defined benefit plan is an expense which we shall subtract if it is paid from operations. When you check, uh, not sure, but I think IPSAS for public sector, maybe also you are referring to public sector, uh, IPSAS number 25, you will find them going to financing. And even me, Ukiangalia, uh, how I used to do it before then, we could take them to financing on the argument that it is money which has been saved to finance. But from checking the current standard, all the employee benefits should be classified as part of operations because they are in administrative. Brenda, that is why. So, Abdiwe Pia Mwetoka Nayako, Sawa. So Brenda, I hope you have understood. Even IPSAS, in the IPSAS template, they have Wametoa. It is no longer part of financing because one to contribute upon your person as a CA, company, your person employees. So you take it under administrative. Thank you. Let's proceed. Investing, go to non-current assets. Investing, go to non-current assets. And current assets PPE, there was acquisition. Give me the figure. So acquisition, acquisition of PPE, property, plant, and equipment. How much? Acquisition of PPE, 45.75. Cash outflow. Then would we would we deliver dividends? What's an anan? Investment in aggregate. So we will report the impairment. So dividends, dividends from associates. I think that is the last working we did. How much did we receive from the associates in form of dividends? How much was it? 160. So that one is a plus. Then we acquired the subsidiary. Okay, I hope it's not going to subject me to a lot of workings. We acquired subsidiary. I know in our things mean. We acquired subsidiary. So you say cash paid to acquire subsidiary. In fact, you're going to take a prefix up before cash. You make up a net. 
ndio wamesindika hizo bubingi hapa andika hapa net cash pay net before cash naandika hapa net net cash pay equal so i'm calling it net because when you check not one let me ask you not one how much did we pay there was issue of shares and there was cash how much was the cash there was they gave out shares to acquire and also there was cash so how much was the cash i read 500 she wrote 5 no sour uh huh. They paid 500, which I can also see. But when you are very keen, check. <laughs> broken down up. Somebody said like that. The property, what, what, what the subsidiary came with? Subsidiary came with cash and cash equivalents of 120. I hope you can be able to see that. But it was negative. In fact, the overdraft. That is an overdraft. So we paid 500 to acquire this company. Not only to come with a negative, a negative cash balance. So it means in total, in total you pay five hundred plus. You will add, you will add, you will add that negative. If they came with the cash, then we subtract, we subtract. But this one came with a negative figure. So we paid them five hundred. Now it was here daily. So it's like we paid them in total of that. Which one? There is nothing for investing apart from that. Give me that total. Give us that total. Was an answer? Who has an answer? You want to take a negative. Negative what? Branding 50, 35. Negative 50, 35, which has been confirmed by many. Karen, why are we adding dividends? You know, uh, Karen, Azushet is a small company where we have invested. To say that you have shares for the KQ. No, Kenya Power. I just said you have to have shares Kenya Power. You have shares KPLC. You are not, you are just, uh, it's, a, it's an associate company to you. So if you invest in KPLC, what do you expect? You expect to receive dividends. And that is why the dividends we receive, we add them. So dividends paid by associate is receivable by us. So can I hope to we'll go out with, the, with that explanation. Associate is an investee company. When we receive dividends, we treat that one as income. As you confirm, allow me to write financing. Financing activities. Yes, good. Financing. The roads are leading to roads are leading to where? Where we what is our focus when we want to do in uh, financing? Where do you want me to focus on? You are now the people to direct me where to go. Where do we uh, focus? Our main area of focus. Victor, correct. Equity and, I won't guess the word and. Equity and. Equity and, I'm waiting for the and. When doing financing, you go to equity and what? You in Guinea? and non-current liabilities, correct, thank you. That is where we are headed, equity and non-current. People are standby. So we have already worked out ordinary, ordinary. So Rosno Mujen took his book long term. <laughs> I thought issue of new shares. Check where we did the, I remember it was 1,000. Can you confirm? Can you confirm if that was one? I remember when we did the ordinary share capital account. Yes, Brandy has confirmed. Then retained earnings, we were looking for dividends, which we never got. Let's show the examiner that we know. Dividends to holding company. 
We never got anything. It was zero. We did our working. But we got dividends paid to minority. That one I can't remember. Dividends to NCI. That one you give me. I can't remember it was how much. But we did our working. I can remember. So check for me that. We got to 50. So this is 250. You subtract. Equity is over. Go to non current liabilities. There was 10% bonds. So 10% bonds at the beginning, 4,000. At the end, 55. What happened? What happened, students? Beginning the bond, bond was four. At the end, in a quarter 55. The answer is 15. But which circuit is the answer? Yeah, that is loan acquisition, exactly. But that's a bond. You can look at two bonds. Now, what do you say? 15. Now, you leave it to be positive. So, we borrow 15. Now, you leave it to be positive. So, we borrowed more. Yes. So, but for bonds, bonds, I want to want to write this uh, issue. Issue of 10% bonds. They borrowed more by giving out those bonds. So they acquired more loans. 15. Just take 55 minus the 4. Okay. And we are done. There is nothing. This is our speed. Unless someone sees out something which I'm not capturing, kindly tell me. I'll be very quick to, to check into it. If nothing, then give me C. Twenty-two fifty. Positive. Therefore, net cash flow, net cash flow is A plus B plus C. How much? Sixteen twenty five. Sixteen twenty five. Ah, now we say Mokwili and Akuja. And Akuja, Sahi, Sahi. Cash and cash equivalents. Check current assets. So cash and cash equivalents. Brought down. You get cash and cash equivalents. Carried down. Yes. So check opening. I'm going to get your answer. What were evening? Someone is requesting in the group to have to be working in investment in other shares. Now, some of you to be a year, they are shutting a spark. So, kindly, I'll trust someone. So, beginning, cash and cash equivalent, I'm seeing 1085. 1085. Then, according to examiner, the closing is 2710. This plus this, do we get 2710? Yes, correct. Then we are accurate. I assure you 100%. You need only 10 ticks. You only need 10 ticks here. 
Where are we getting the ten kids today? Bring them, let them flow. The ones you are sure, Dennis, Ida. Which ones are you sure, Brenda, Abdi, Barbara? Which ones are you sure, David? David, no manyamanza. Karen. Which Osen Osen kuwe ukapa? Helen. Which one are you sure, sure, sure? Irene. Jonathan, Buella, Joyce, Kennedy. I want to. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's like a prophet before tax. Adija, I want those answers. Lame, 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 when you feature up for Lawrence. Lucy, which ones can you get? The masses. You know, here we have masses. They show a lot of masses. Monica Nelson, Noah, Philip, Philip Kumi, Wakonani, Purity, Rose, Shiro. We have two Susans, Kuna Susan, Karis, and Nincheru. Victor, which ones? Yeah, so no I'm saying yeah, you finance post the other and Peter and I. That confidence is too good. So to analyze the truth, finance post uh, working capital lapa. One, two, three. I have also seen people cash cash. <laughs> uh eh, Adija, where would somebody cash and cash people like the of Yako? So it can make you actually they bad. Then uh, depreciation was mentioned, so this one you need to get. Impairment in the letter, small, small issues. This one you are supposed to get, these two. I know, I know these things. Even this one, here. Yeah. This one you will get. Even this one in the back, I know. By the time when I'm here, you have tax in the back. After you have, uh, it's just opening during compare. So if you want to get twenty over twenty, believe you me. In fact, I therefore declare today, cash flow is the answer to your question. Start with it. No matter how difficult cash flow will be, the basics you will get. Then it was again in south. Uta pata kila kitu. Utapata wrongs mingi with also ticks mingi. The wrongs will be equivalent to the ticks na utapita. Utapata 20 over 20. If you don't panic, but if you panic, utaleta shida. Niandikia pochini, repeat using direct method. Atutaka kwa direct because we are only repeating operations. Also remember the morning work on a class. So I have to finish latest by 9.40. So repeat using direct method. You can also take a one minute break to check something. Where are people attending classes from? Me, I'm attending the class from Machakos County. So we can work with the counties. Where are people attending their classes from? Me, I'm attending the class from Machakos County. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What about others? We want to know the counties where people are attending classes so that we can see how people are struggling to get this cash flow. Shiro is in Mombasa, Purity is in Kiambu, Kuna Wenitukonawa Machakos, Kuna Vihiga, Kuna Siaya, Kajiado. Where? Nairobi Wakawapi? Or Adija at least are called Nairobi. Or country. You know you can be in a different country. Rose, Nairobi without country. Jero is in Tokyo. Tok so Jero is in Tokyo. Tokyo is in Tokyo to Kiwa and in Wonga and which need Japan. Yeah, you see the way. Yes. People are even in Japan. So, uh, Jedu, tell me, what is the time right now in Japan so that we can know how this time, how times are moving? Uh, here it is 9.27 a.m. Jeru, where Jeru is, is 3.30 p.m. So it means yesterday when we were having a class late in the evening, you were attending the class at what time? Jeru, this one must be a great concern to me. What time was it when you were, we were doing the evening class yesterday night? It was what time where you were? You were attending the class at what time?
It was midnight at 3 a.m. So, Sawa, so I don't know how to chip in. So she was attending the class at 3 a.m. Hapa ni kiambia watu wabuke 3 a.m. Wacha ni siyonge. Brandy, let me just hold on my, my words. So some people are in Nairobi and there is no electricity. And you are trying to attend the class. God cannot allow you to suffer like that, then you fail. You can't fail. Someone attending the class at 3 a.m. in Tokyo, it, it is not easy. God will compensate. Meanwhile, to end the let's go to direct method. Direct method. Purity sasa kama ulikuwa na fikiria umeweka sacrifice. Umepata other sacrifices. Baka sasa you can you can uplift yours. Baka unajiurumia sasa zingine. Ah, so uh, for direct method, you will always be required to bring cash received from customers, then you come up with cash paid to employees and suppliers. Those are the only two workings we are doing, then we wind up. So let's do the working for, before we start presentation because of my space. So right here, cash from customers. Cash from customers. Cash from customers. That's a big sacrifice. Imagine me telling people that we have a class tomorrow. We have a class tomorrow. Namutu ako Japan. I just say tomorrow never be confused. How do you even manage to know the the timing? That is tricky. People try. So like the manager say, "You are part of the region." So it means region where you are going. Shall Allah can sa three a.m. God will reward you. So receivables brought down. Receivables brought down. Let's check. So go to current assets. Receivables brought down is 1860. 1860. 1860. Subsidiary. Bring subsidiary. Subsidiary came with uh, how much of receivables? They came with 580. Kindly check. They came with 580. Then revenue is assumed to be credit sales. Assumed. Assumed credit sales. Assumed credit sales. That is 7650. Yes. Balancing figure is the cash received. Cash received. BF. Balancing figure. Here. Yeah. So balance carried down. Balance carried down is uh, 1950. So the decrease is what we received. Chapa yo, uniambi answer. So I'm being told by this there, 8,900. 8,900 is the cash received. I hope we have that figure because I want to delete that space. But I cannot delete, I can do another work with 8,140. Lucy, 89, but not 8,140. Can you rectify yourself? All right, then card paid to employees. 
task paid to employees, you, you check administrative and distribution. Administrative and distribution. Apparently, here, they just said operating expenses. So I'll take the operating expenses. Operating expenses. So operating expenses is 15.40. You less those things which were captured inside there. There was one in the order Mahari. That note four. Yes, that note number four. Uh, and also they say service code of 300 has been included with the operating expenses. So service code has been included there, 300. Service code, there is nothing we pay the employees to that effect. So you have to not park with all. I can depreciation of the was in a big check not two. Depreciation was this, and impairment of this was recognized. Prior to the impairment, the group had a balance of the revaluation of this which related to impairment the current year. Because they have not said the level of cost of sales, I will assume because depreciation and impairment, you cannot see them on the face of the P and L. They are not in the P and L. You cannot be able to see them somewhere there. Therefore, what I will do, what I will do is simple. Uh, I will subtract them here, less depreciation. But even if you subtract them here all on cost of sales, the ultimate figure is on the cash paid to employees and suppliers. It goes as one. So it's still it, it better in a poor sour. So depreciation, this one here, 1240. They were included there because we cannot see them in the PL, which means they were classified inside there. Impairment, less impairment. In fact, to save on time, the two impairments, this one, the 125 and the 285, these two, this and this. So 125 and 285. How much is that? Uh, at least I can see here. How much? How much? For 10. That for 10, I will subtract. I don't see anything else. I don't see anything else. Can you give me this correct figure? That is the cash paid to employees. Actually, you know, this is in a recording. What you do, you subtract the expenses which you cannot see in the PL. You see that these are the expenses like finance cost, uh, admission. Finance cost was directly captured in PL, so you cannot subtract it here. But the ones which were not captured, where are they? It means the beneficial of Kodani. That's why we are subtracting them. So, how much do you get? How much do you get? Time, 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 you the end of Zurich and City. Negative. You will take over negative. I did have given me for 10, but she always said negative 410. Because this is 15 for the other is negative 410. Ah, Nesawa, no problem. Put a deep line on the open beginning. When you are careful, negative 410. Yes, I'm the negative 410. Then that is employees. We want to go to the other side of suppliers. Before you go to suppliers, I want us to reconcile. I want us to get purchases. Purchases. I want us to get purchases using this formula. Cost of sales is equals to opening stock plus purchases minus, minus closing stock. So cost of sales in your question was 1435. 
is equals to opening inventory was 2060 plus subsidiary. Subsidiary came with 640. 640 plus purchases minus closing stock 1575. Give me the value of P. Give me the value of P. Purchases is going to affect payables. That is why I need it here. Uh -huh. Are you getting 3210? Are you getting 3210? Yes, 3210. That is the purchases. Pick. Uh, from there, the Maliza is later. So we get cash paid to suppliers. I want to delete this. So cash to suppliers. I think i cash to suppliers. Cash to suppliers. Cash to suppliers. Cash to suppliers. So suppliers. Balance wrote down. Payables, we check payables. Of course, this is payables. Balance brought down, payables. So payables, 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 where are you? 2460. You add purchases. I assume all of them are on credit. 3210, the one which we have just gotten. Balancing figure is the cash paid. BS. I, sorry, subsidiary, subsidiary, subsidiary. Subsidiary came with, subsidiary came with payables of 350. Subsidiary came with 350. Balancing figure, is the cash paid, the cash paid. So balance carried down, balance carried down 26.85, 26.85, correct. So give me the balancing figure, give me the balancing figure, Apple. that is the cash paid. Early morning, Mutambia Molimo and Gotchi Kidogo because now on the earliest to Maliza na 47. 33, 35. 33, 35. That is the cash paid. So, when this is a presentation, let's go to presentation. Presentation. We just go to operating, operating activities, operating activities, investing and financing are the same, so we are not bothered with those two, we don't do them. So operating activities, cash from customers. And you feel the metal apples are in. Did you Cash received from customers are deleted. How much was that? How much was the cash received from customers? 8140. So here 8140. Cash paid to employees. Employees and suppliers. Employees we got negative. It was negative what? It was negative 410. It was negative 410. 
So it will be minus 410 plus 3335. 410. Because we don't have to work with our Let me interpret it that way. So there's nothing they were paid. It's like they owe the company. Like in Najwa, could have some expenses to the part of our cost of sales, like in Mesifina Ugo. So there is no problem. So Abidia says 29.25. Yes, 29.25. You subtract. Therefore, what you get is 81.40 minus the answer. 52.15. Then you bring tax paid. Tax paid is the same, whichever method you take here. 355. Interest paid will remain the same. 260. Defined whatever. Benefits. 190. Are we getting the same answer? Our A here, it is the same A we got through indirect method. Are they the same? Are they the same? Yes. So same means 44, 10. 44, 10. So cash flow until we meet in exam, let cash flow rest at that stage. Victor, if the bank overdraft was in the statement of financial position, will it affect cash? Yeah, definitely. Bank overdraft will affect cash and cash equivalents. It is a negative cash equivalent. So you will take the available cash balance and the current assets minus the overdraft. Both brought down, brought down, and carried down, carried down. So Victor, I hope you understand. So write for me there. Right for me there, IAS, IAS 33. So you can watch Premier League in the answer. Premier League in the answer, I come at a problem with, the, with some people but in attending evening classes, recording in a court meeting, record for me. Uh, I'm held up somewhere. So IAS number 33, earnings, earnings are, Share, earning per share, popularly known as EPS, EPS. This is hotspot for this city, a very big hotspot. So Kidogo, no way, I never see what Premier League, I will. I know, especially what was yes, I work on Abutiani, I know there is exam going on. Med Mercy, there was cash and cash equivalent of subsidiary. Yeah. You have a subsidiary, you don't bring it at cash and cash equivalent. In fact, it was overdraft, this was negative. To Lipeleka Pali for financing. Masi, check how I dealt with it in the financing. Um, for financing, well. Yes, not financing, under investing. The cash paid to acquire subsidiary, net of the cash acquired. So we acquired a negative, it was negative 120. So we took 500 plus that 120 negative. So the cash equivalent of the subsidiary acquired, you don't take it as cash and cash equivalent during balancing. You take it uh, when checking the cash paid or acquired, uh, received. Otherwise, thank you. You said we meet at what time? Before we log out, we meet at what time? depending. I need to look for some recordings here and there. Aditya also be one of the recordings you want. At 6 p.m. So to start at 6 to 8. So 6 p.m. I think you can watch at 3 a.m. So you do. But I'll share the recording. Even this one I want to compress and share. So thank you for those who are having more classes. All the best. Have a nice day. We meet at 6 p.m.